Pablo Bo from Happiness Accelerator. And first of all, I would like to thank you for following our 30 day resilience and optimism program. Today, I'm going to share with you a practice called self compassion that we have taken from the book of Professor Raj Raghunathan. If you are so smart, why aren't you happy? This practice is very helpful in moments when we need to treat ourselves better or in moments of pain and suffering when we are struggling to find our calm center. According to Professor Christine Neff, the famous researcher of self-compassion, we humans are prone to beat ourselves up when we make mistakes, when we don't behave as expected and when we don't achieve the goals we desire. But there is a better way to behave in such difficult moments and it involves self-compassion. According to Professor Neff, there are three main elements of self-compassion and they are self-kindness, common humanity and mindfulness. Self-kindness involves treating ourselves the way that we are going to treat our best friend in a difficult moment. Common humanity involves accepting that we all make mistakes, it's inevitable, and accept that nobody is perfect. Last but not least mindfulness means to realize and to accept the present situation we are in, but with a proper dose of love and kindness and in the same time not trying to deny or hide anything from the real circumstances. So here is the practice that Professor Rachel Nathan shares with us about the self-compassion. It involves a couple of elements. As first stage, you think or remember a recent moment when you made a mistake or you behaved not as expected which made you feel very bad. The second step involves imagining that it is not you but your best friend did the mistake and you are the person sitting by her or his side trying to calm them down to be nice with them and to soothe them. Think what you're going to tell them, how you're going to treat them and is it going to be helpful to them. Most probably you will use very kind words and you will be very very nice with your best friend. The next step involves remembering back in the moment of your mistake what were your thoughts and feelings what were your feelings are you blaming yourself are you hating yourself for always making the same mistakes for always failing realize is there a difference between your thoughts and emotions toward yourself and your own mistake and the way you would treat your best friend's mistakes. And most probably there is. The last but not least step involves the promise that next time you make mistake, you will treat yourself as your best friend with the proper dose of self-compassion and love because you deserve it.